everyone, this is Matthew here again, and lately I've been misspeaking. Uh, but first off, joining me are some Skype guests in the forms of Ready Unknown Fox, Justin271995, and Alex Panzer13, and Rodney1279. And this is going to be my next episode. I believe this is number 30, 35, I believe. So we're, so I'm going to go past 35 for this third season. I'm probably going to go up to 50 before calling it an end to season 3 and going to season 4. But anyways, my returning champion is Ready Unknown Fox. It's, I believe a 7 game winning total of $178,800. And today he's elected to take on Rodney1279. We will load in the cards now. Good luck, J. York. You're going to need it because uh, I think it's going to be time for you to go home and spend your prizes. Money on your prizes. Sorry about that, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> and you should get some jello pudding with that. Right. I'm going to root for Rodney. Okay. Let's Me too. And you both know how to play the game, so let's get... And you both know how to play, so let's get to the game. First game goes. First question goes to the champion, and that's Jay. Are you ready, Jay? I am. Are you ready, Rodney? I am ready. Okay. Jay, we asked 100 men who have been married for 50 years. We found 100 couples of, who have been married for 50 years, and we asked the men. And we asked them, have you only kissed your wife in a romantic way? How many of these men said that they've only kissed their wife in a romantic way? You get the picture. Hmm. That's kind of tough. That's tough. <sighs> Let's say 45. 45? Four, yes. 45 of 100 men married 50 years said they've only kissed their wife in a romantic way. Ronnie, may I ask if that's your case, even though you're only married for what, seven? Or eight? Yeah, seven years. Uh, no, I kiss my wife all the time. You know, it's not just, it doesn't have to be in a romantic way all the time. Sometimes you just kiss your wife because you just kiss her just because you care about her and want to make sure she's okay. But with that being said, 45 is too high. I'm going to go lower. Going lower. The absolute number of these men who have kissed their wife only in a romantic way is... 16. It is lower. So, Rodney, a good move on your part. And, Rodney, your card is a 6. Uh, let's change that 6, please, man. Alright, when you win the question, you can change the base card. The 6 is now an 8. 7 plus 1. That's okay. I'm going to go higher. Higher than an 8? No. Oh, no. It's a 5. Jay, a free shot for you, but you must play this card. It's a 10. Lower. Lower than a 10. It's a 4. Higher. Higher than a 4. A jack. Lower. Lower than a jack. No. Oh, no. It's a queen. You go back to the 10. Two, one. Question 2 goes to you, Rodney. Rodney, we asked 100 people. Would you like to hear what's being said behind your back? How many of these people said yes, they would like to hear what's being said behind their back? Well, most of the time, this could be at work or anything like that. Most of the time, most people do not want to hear what's being said behind their back because it can create a lot of uh, friction and drama. I'm going to have to say that's a low number. The number will have to be 25. Okay. Jay, higher or lower than 25? Mm. Although it can be kind of a low number, I'm going to say it's a little bit higher. A little bit higher. The actual number of these people who said they would like to hear what's being said behind their back is... 37. It is just a little higher. Good job, Jay. And Jay, you have your 10. Uh, let's change it. All right. Getting rid of that 10. Let's see if you can make a good one. It's a 4. Let's go higher. Higher than a 4? A king. Lower. Lower than a king? A 5. Higher. Higher than a 5? It's an 8. 7 plus 1? Freeze. Freezing on the 8, not giving Rodney a chance of the cards. Question 3 goes to you, Jay. 
This is an educated guess question, Jay. How many pounds does the average kindergartner weigh? Hmm. The average kindergartner. That's right, average mm. kindergartner. I will say about 54. Jay says that the average kindergartner weighs 54 pounds. Ronnie, do you think that's higher or lower than 54 pounds? Um, that is a good answer. I want to go lower than that, though. Go lower. And the actual number of pounds that the average kindergartner weighs is? 46. It is just a little lower. Jay was off by 8. And speaking of 8, Ronnie, that's what your card is, an 8, 7 plus 1. Uh, I'll have to change that card, please. I man. figured you would. And the 8 is now a king. Let's go lower than the king. Lower than a king, a 4. Higher, Higher than a 4, a jack. I'm going to take a chance, lower than a jack. Lower than a jack? Oh no, it's an ace. Jay, a free shot for you, but you must play your eight. Seven plus one? Ah, uh, lower. Okay, for the first game of the match, lower than an eight? Oh no, it's a ten. This is the fourth and final question, so I must win on this play of the cards. Control is important, and the question goes to Rodney. This machine shoves a steel rod into a Hmm. Ronnie, we asked 100 high school teachers, have you spent a night in jail? How many of these high school teachers said yes, they have spent a night in jail? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. I think that's going to be like a low number. I'm going to go with 15, one five. Okay, 15 of 100 high school teachers said they have spent a night in jail. Jay, higher or lower than 15? I'll go higher. Going higher. The actual number of these high school teachers said they have spent a night in jail is? 13. It is lower, not higher. Rodney, you are off by 2. But here's the deal, Rodney. You have a king. You need all four cards for game one. And you can change that king if you wish to, or you can pass to Jay, and he'll have to play off his 8, 7 plus 1, and Jay needs only one card. So what are you going to do, Rodney? Play the king, change the king, or pass it to Jay? You have the power. I'm going to pass it to, I'm gonna pass it to Jay. Alright, giving it to Jay. Now, Jay, you must play your 8. 7 plus 1, you have no, ch you have no options here, just high or low. You have no option to change, I should say. Alright. And I will go lower. Take trying it again. For the first game, lower. It's a six, and Jay has taken game number one. Okay. I'm doing for Rodney. I'll be and, back. Okay. okay. And we're going to load in the cards for round two. And we're just going to take a quick break here so I can zoom out for the for the second question round. So, so just hold on a minute, everybody. All right, guys. Now that we have returned. And we're now going to do sec the second question round. It was uh, Ready Unknown Fox who took the first game. And this one is going to be with Rodney and Jay again. I'm going to put this thing up here. Okay, there. And the first question of round two goes to Jay. There we go. Didn't want to zoom in now. Okay, now we're ready. Jay, we asked 100 male fashion models. Is it important that the woman you date be good looking? How many of these male fashion models said that it is important that the woman they date be good looking? Hmm. Feels like it's somewhere in the middle, so I'm gonna say. Hmm. 57. 5'7? Yes. 57 of 100 male fashion models said that it's important that the woman they date be good looking. Rodney, higher or lower than 57? I think all 
men want their woman to look good, so it's going to be higher. He says higher. The actual number of these male fashion models said that it is important that the woman they date be good looking is 74. It is higher. And Rodney, your card, and Rodney, your card is a seven. Okay, let's change the seven, please. All right. When you win the question, you can change the base card. The seven is now a ten. A little better. Okay. It's a ten. Lower than a ten. Lower than a ten. An eight. Seven plus one. I'm a three. All right, freezing on the eight, not giving Jay a chance at his cards. And the next question goes to you, Rodney. Hmm. I think, I think your wife could possibly relate to this, Rodney. Rodney, we asked 100 married women. Did you tell your kid to eat something because it's good for them, even though the very thought of it makes her gag? How many of these married women said yes, they have told their kid to eat something because it's good for them, even though the very thought of it makes her gag? Okay, I'm going to go with 60, 60. Okay, 60 of 100 married women said they have told their kid to eat something because it's good for them, even though the very thought of it makes her gag. Uh, Jay, higher or lower than 60? Let's go lower. Okay. Going lower. The actual number of these married women who told their kids to eat something because it was good is 45. It is lower because of the circumstances, under those circumstances. Jay, your card is a 10. Mm. You can play it or change it. Let's keep the 10 and go lower. Okay, lower than a 10. It's a 5. It worked. Higher than a five, a nine. Three. Okay. Did you say freeze? Yes. Okay, freezing on the nine, not giving Rodney a chance. Third question is yours, Jay. Jay, we asked 100 people. Does the CIA know something about the assassination of President Kennedy than it's telling? How many of these people said, yes, the CIA knows something about the assassination of President Kennedy that they're not telling? Hmm. I will say about... Sixty. Six zero. Sixty of a hundred people said the CIA knows something about the assassination of President Kennedy, then they're telling. Rodney, higher or lower than sixty? Well, I think the CIA always keep on, um, they always keep a lot of secrets within their agency. So I think it's even higher than sixty. Rodney, are you part of the CIA? No. Okay. I actually work for HUD. Oh, okay. Glenn, you said yeah. higher? Yeah. Okay, going higher than 60. And the actual number of these people who said that the CIA knows something is 85. It is just a little higher. And Rodney, you have your 8. Okay, I would love to change that 8, please. All right, changing that 8. I don't blame him for doing that. It's a queen. Lower than a queen, please. Lower than a queen, a jack. Well, there was a lot of high cards in that last round. I'm going to have to go with lower than the jack this time. Lower than a jack, a nine. And I'm a three. Freezing on the nine, putting you one card away from game two. This is the fourth and final question, so I must win on this play of the cards. And Rodney, that question is yours. Control is important, so listen up here. Rodney, we asked 100 female execs, would you still be where you are if there was never a women's liberation movement? How many of these female execs said yes, they would still be where they're at? Mm. Um, I'm going to go with a medium high number. I'm going to go with 55. Okay. Jay, higher or lower than 55? It seems to be a little lower, so I'll go lower. One lower. The actual number of these female executives said they would still be where they're at is 
82, it is higher, not lower. Hard to tell how that is. Ronnie, here's the situation. You have a nine of a base card. You need one card for game two. You need this to stick around. And Jay also has a nine. He needs two cards. Ronnie, yeah, you can take the nine. To Jay this time. Okay, he's going to pass to Jay. And Jay, you must play your nine. Got it. Through two cards. Let's start. Let's start going lower. Lower than a nine? Oh, oh no, it's an eight. And Ronnie takes game number two. Third round, only three cards be dealt out. Whoever wins this gets to go to the money cards. First question goes to Jay. Jay, our surveyor, went down to Spain where he surveyed 100 men. And we asked them, did you go to church last Sunday? How many of these Spanish men said yes, they went to church last Sunday? I'm really not sure about this, but I'm going to go up the middle and say 50. 50 of 100 men in Spain said they went to church last Sunday. Uh, Rodney, higher or lower than 50? Okay, uh, uh, it's like a toss-up question. I'm going to go with higher. Go on higher. The actual number of these men in Spain who said they went to church the last Sunday is? 31. It is lower, not higher. It's already showing Rodney's card. Jay, your card is a 9. Let's change it. Okay, changing the 9. When you win the question, you can change the base card. It's a 6. Higher. Higher than a 6? It's a 10. I will freeze. All right, freeze it on the 10, not giving Rodney a chance. Second question goes to you, Rodney. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Rodney, we asked 100 eighth grade girls, have you talked to your mom about boy problems? How many of these eighth grade girls said yes, they have talked to their mom about boy problems? Well, this is a good one because I have a, um, well, I recently have a foster daughter who is 16 years old, and I think the girls tell their mom about everything. They wouldn't tell their fathers about any, every, anything because they'll think we have problems. So with that said, I'm going to say that's a good high number, 75. Okay, 75 of 100 8th grade girls said they have talked to their mom about boy problems. Jay, higher or lower than 75? It's going to be higher. There's, there's a lot more girls than 75 who would talk to their moms about boy problems. Go on higher. The actual number of these 8th grade girls who talk to their mom about boy problems is... 48. It is lower, not higher. Ronnie, control is yours. Your card is an ace. Lower! Lower than an eight! An eight. Seven plus one. You know what? If I lose this game, Jay, uh, congratulations. You've been a great opponent to play with. I'm going to go with lower than an eight. Taking a chance for the championship. Lower! Oh no, it's a king. Jay, a free shot for you. You have to play your 10, though. Uh, one last shot. It's a 10, right? 10. Let's go lower. For the championship, lower. It's a 7, and Jay is, has won again. Jay goes to the money cards yet again. Take out the 
Then Jay, you start at the bottom row with $500 of betting money. You bet right across three cards. Moving to the second row, give you $700 of betting money. Where you bet right across another three cards. $50 in a bet. You get the top card, the big bet, where you must bet at least half the money. And you could win $75,200 if you play it right, Jay. Jay, you get a joker just for making it to the money cards. And you can change the base card one time per line. If the same card comes up, it's a push, meaning you do not win and you don't lose. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. And Jay, for $500, you start off with a five. Are you going to take the five? Higher. What's that? Two hundred higher. Okay, two hundred dollars higher than a five. It's an ace. Seven hundred dollars in an ace. All a bit lower. Of course, can't lose. Oh, oh no, I. Oops, I. No. That was my mis. Oh, I made a mistake. I went higher on the ace, and I I meant to bet max, and I ended up hitting higher instead. So my mistake there. That's all right. Okay, so. So unfortunately, it's a ten. So unfortunately, Jay, you're down to five hundred. So that was my mistake. I apologize about that. Five hundred. You have a ten. All right. Hmm. Three hundred lower. Okay. Three hundred dollars lower than a ten. No. Oh no! It's a king. We'll move you to the next row. Give you seven hundred dollars of betting money. You are on a new row. And you have nine hundred dollars and that king. All right, seven hundred lower. Holding back on that, no problem there. Seven hundred dollars lower than a king. It's a deuce. Sixteen hundred and a two. All a bit higher. Okay, sixteen hundred higher than a two. It's an ace. Thirty-two hundred and an ace. All a bit. And I got, I'm going to redeem myself here. All of it lower than an ace. It's a two. Jay, you're at 6,400. You have a two. It's a big bet. All of it higher. Come on, for $12,800. Higher than a two. It's a joker. You have two chances at the jackpot. Same bet, all of it higher. Figure that. Higher. It's a six. Good recovery, Jay, from my from my from my boo boo earlier. But Jay, you're now up to one hundred and ninety one thousand eight hundred dollars. And that's right. Two chances at a twenty thousand dollar jackpot. Hmm. Hmm. Let's start with number seven. All right. Is the dollar sign behind seven? Don't. No. So, Jay, you don't get any additional money because this is your last chance. Yeah. I got nothing to lose. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Let's take four. All right. Is it behind four? No, it was one. So next time our jackpot will be worth thirty grand, and Jay with one hundred ninety-one thousand eight hundred dollars, uh, you will get to come back next time, and we'll see you for a new opponent.